Hey everybody, it is the weekly weigh-in numbers. Yes, indeed it is. How are we doing on our beef bowls and protein sparing modified fast days? Hey you guys, come on and let's get this day started. Hey everybody, good morning, good morning, or should I say good afternoon everybody? And welcome to Loving It on Keto. Man, it's been a crazy three days for us, for both of us. Um, for a long time viewers, and for some of you who are new, um, I've been taking several tests um, from my cardiologist, my doctor of internal medicine, and now my uh, osteosurgeon. Yes, indeed I am. Uh, we did go and I got my uh, thyroid ultrasound, which I should get results of for the nodule on my thyroid, just to check it next week. Yes, see, what day is today? Sunday. Friday, I got a calcium score done, which was really interesting. I've never had one done before. I'll get that score. I had to have x-rays of my knees before I could see the surgeon. And of course, the surgeon poked, pried, prodded, and bent my knees. And yes, folks, it's time for a new knee. Now, there are a lot of... Uh, T's you've got to cross and I's you've got to dot before that happens, including approval from insurance. Um, I am scheduled, and he scheduled to me the farthest out October 22nd. Now, as soon as I get all these tests and I need a CT scan, I have the x-rays, I've had an MRI, I've had my DEXA, I mean, seriously, blood workup we're getting done Tuesday. All these things have to line up before he'll schedule you earlier than that. Once I have everything, I call them up, and that includes finding a physical therapist um, that takes our insurance and having that scheduled, uh, making sure I can schedule it two weeks after my knee surgery. I call the appointment person for surgery let her know my name, then I go on a short list and I get an avail there's an availability that happens because a lot of people, you know, their insurance is slow or lagging or whatever. But the furthest out would be October 22nd at this time. I plan on getting everything done sooner. As a matter of fact, on Friday, um, we had to be to the surgeon at 8.15. They sent me to get x-rays first. Then I had to go back and wait for the x-rays to process. Then we had our consultation with him. And you guys, if a knee could have it all, that would be my knee. Bone spurs, frayed meniscus, torn ligament, uh, bone on bone, no cartilage left, and a cyst under my kneecap that I probably got when I fell on the 23rd of May. Um, my leg is pretty well shot. And yes, you know, if you want to try to save your knee, there's all kinds of cortisone shots and all kinds of things they can do, but I'm going to need a knee replacement anyway. So that's what we're going to, that's how we're moving forward. I'm getting a new knee. Yes, I am. So they've got to go through all of the approval process. The blood workup I had done doesn't cover blood clotting and several other factors they need into this. Plus, you need a UA. You need a urine sample. So we made that appointment for Tuesday. So we get a blood draw Tuesday for that. I called to get a CT scan set up. And of course, all of these have to be approved by my insurance first. So the furthest out that they would do it is the 16th of August. There's only two places in the valley that have the CT uh, in my network. But if I get done sooner and it gets approved sooner, then I can go on their short list. So I have... What's that mean? That means um, I can call them and get the first cancellation of a CT scan. So I've got to have a CT scan because my knee surgery will be done robotically. It will be done with the Da Vinci uh, method and they measure everything and calculate it. My knee is starting to bend inward like my mom's did, unfortunately, and I've got a lot of arthritis and bone spurs on the outside of my knee that's probably causing that, and the surgery will straighten it a little bit, and that's good to hear. So, huh, 
I thought I didn't have, I thought I had all my tests done ahead of time because I went to my cardiologist, he did the EKG, he did the DEXA scan, um, no, I'm getting all confused because there's three doctors. Anyway, I did my DEXA scan, which was quite interesting because this time they did my wrist, my right hip, and my spine. Um, I think because I turned 70, they do the spine and your hip, or before they were just doing my wrist for bone density. So I have a lot more to do. And we were basically running around all day Friday getting tests and going to the other doctor and giving them their paperwork, having him do the blood workup stuff that we needed and all of that stuff. So that's why we were out for a couple days. It was because I had back-to-back -back tests. Thursday I had my... Um, DEXA scan and my um, ultrasound. I also need my echo for my cardiologist. I know I have all this stuff. Anyway, I've got a lot going on. And you guys, today Sally is not feeling well. We have an appointment with the vet on Sunday. That's why it's 4.30. She's going backwards. She's going backwards. She is not feeling good. She is not eating. It's, it's a whole thing. Anyway, you guys, we weighed in on Friday, yes we did, and by the time we came home and sat down, we were exhausted mentally, and I had been poked, prodded, bent. They bend your knees, make you bend your knees to do x-rays, right, and pretzel you, and then he comes in and proceeds to <laughs> torture your knee and, and everything, so by the time I was done, I was done. Um, but we did weigh in. Now, everything that you, take medication wise stress over the counter medicine inflammation which my knee is going through it's very hard or it makes it more difficult to lose weight sometimes with all of those things so we did weigh in we both went down i didn't go as far down as i had hoped i lost two tenths of a pound i weighed at 2018 I still need to get down to my all-time low. Harry went down a little bit, four tenths, but remember he lost over a pound the week prior. So we're both going down, which is the, the good news. It's just going slower than I would like, but neither, none of the doctors have said anything about my weight. The knee doctor didn't say anything, the cardiologist didn't, because sometimes knee surgeons won't do surgery on your knee or your hip until you lose a certain amount of weight. So I'm really trying hard. Um, we are staying true to our beef bowls, which can be beef, chicken, any minced meat in a bowl with an egg, without an egg, with mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, you know, uh, mustard, um, and those kinds of things. Now, one thing I wanna say, I have been very exhausted is the only word because I'm not sleepy. I am like drain. It's like it's like my energy is being sucked out of me by a vampire, an energy vampire. And I know it's cortisol and adrenaline from everything that I'm going through. But Sunday, no, today's Sunday. Saturday, yesterday, I was so drained and so lagging that I decided I was going to do not a refeed day where you just eat a lot of ketogenic food, but that I was going to do a high fat protein bowl day. And what we did is we took our protein at night, which was ground 80-20 uh, hamburger. I had some mozzarella uh, cheese. We put some taco seasoning on our um, minced meat. We put some butter in it. I think we each had a tablespoon of butter. Yep. We um, put hot sauce in it, two tablespoons of dairy sour cream in it, and the melted cheese. The mozzarella was the only one I had on hand and I did not want to go shopping. So it was kind of like a Mexican bowl is what it was. And we had that for an early dinner. It was like about 4.30 that we had it. And I'll tell you something. It not only was absolutely delicious, but it perked me up and I felt better on it. And this morning when I woke up, I had more pep in my step, so to speak. Now I got ready for Tai Chi because we were supposed to go have Tai Chi and almost to pick up my daughter Felicia 
I was almost there. She said, hey, Dan had to cancel. He's our sensei. But she said, I've been working on the cookbook. Yes, dare I say my cookbook. I got to see it. She has, oh, I think like 100 pages so far. I know, you guys. I'm excited. So I said, how about we go to lunch and we discuss it. We look at it. We went over it. We discussed it. We're going through a, um, a, a cookbook uh, application, actually, and building it. And so we have some questions. Um, and we had some questions and we went over everything. We went over how it looked and which way we wanted to put it in and with the ingredients and all that stuff. So we had a really nice time. Now I did order two hamburger patties at the place we went. And I only ate one hamburger patty and brought the other one home. But it was just a plain hamburger patty. Yeah, but it was good. And one of them had white cheddar cheese on it and the other one had nothing. So I've got a picture of that plate and I'm going to have Harry insert that right here. Because I want to be held accountable for that. Um, I have some questions about the cookbook. For some of you longtime viewers who use my recipes, here's the deal. In building the recipes Felicia has noticed that I do have macros on some recipes but not on all of them especially some of the older ones and a lot of the times I did not do macros because you have options you can use real eggs versus egg white protein powder you can use egg yolk powder versus a real egg yolk you can use real butter versus the powdered Anthony's butter also, you can use a different protein powder instead of the keto chow I use. And depending on what ingredients you use would make a difference on what the macros are. So, and everything in this book is going to be very low carbs. Very low carbs. Because in a day, Harry and I have always striven, strove, strove, strove striven, yeah, anyway, one of those. semantics, um, to stay at 20 or below total carbs. So it depends on how you count. So some of the recipes have the macros and some of them don't. So my question to you is, is should I take all the macros out of all the recipes? Because to go back and to try to do the macros for the recipes that she's always already put into the formatted thing, everything you do um, takes time. And um, as I've always said, the apps that you use, it depends on your app that you use as to what your macros are going to be. If I say, you know, everything here is six total carbs or less, would that make more sense? Or should everything have macros or should none of it have macros? Because it's all going to be ketogenic. And it's all going to be based on a, 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 um, a percentage of if you eat a whole day, you're going to have less than 20 grams of carbs. Would it be weird to have the ones that have the macros leave them and the ones that don't, don't have them? I know that's a lot to ask everybody. But you guys are the ones who've asked for the book. You guys are the ones that are going to be purchasing the book. And we're thinking about doing an ebook, which is less expensive, and a uh, hardbound or a paper cover hardbound book. Uh, so there will be two options that you can have. So, um, and we're going through a company that will, will provide all of that with this app that we're using. So I know that's a lot of information, but I want it to be right for most of you out there. Um, we've done some things. We've decided with each, the um, ingredients are going to be at the top, and then the instructions are going to be numbered one, two, three, four, five. For those of you who are not as familiar with cooking, or who may be new or younger a folk that don't cook often, so that you get exact step-by-step -step instructions, because some of my stuff isn't hard, but it's involved and by having those steps one, two, three, four, five uh, there um, layered that way. So I need your help. Let me know what you think. If I say everything in this book, everything in main dishes, let's say main courses, have an average of one to six total carbs per serving. 
you know, if I say that at the beginning of each section of main dishes, desserts, breads, appetizers, or whatever, would that suffice? Or should I leave the macros that are there and the ones that don't have macros are fine without macros? I need your help. You guys gotta, gotta leave me the comments, gotta leave me the answers. Yes, you do. And leave them where other people can read them. Put them in the comments down in this video for me. Also, yesterday's video where we're doing the Keto Child Giveaway, I forgot to let everybody know we're gonna be drawing and sharing the winner on Thursday the 8th. Yep, Thursday the 8th. So come back on Thursday the 8th to see who has won. That was my fault for not doing that yesterday. It's all her fault. It is. I can't tell you first. how busy our schedule is because of everything that I'm going to. And I don't want to wait till October 22nd to get knee surgery. Now that I know I'm going to have to have it, it's like almost worse. So I want to get everything out of the way, get on the short list. With Harry, with his hip, we did that with him. And like two weeks after we got on the short list, they called him and said, we'd like you to come in tomorrow. Yeah. And I mean, it was like, yeah. overnight we have a slot it's yours take it mpo you know all the list because they give me a binder with not a binder but a, a folder with mm -hmm. everything in it and um all the steps you need to do ahead of time and everything so and then when you get all your tests done the approvals and the tests have to be valid within a certain amount of time too in order to have surgery you don't want to do it all over again because it's too far out yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a hassle it is a hassle it really is so to, let's see tomorrow sally's vet appointment um we're still very worried about her very worried she stopped having antibiotics and her probiotics a couple days ago and she is not feeling yeah, good again. It's like it's coming right back. It's like it's coming right back. And her stool is almost black with dark, dark red striping in it. I'm checking her gums. And I got pictures of every time she did. Now, she did not go from Tuesday to Friday. She did not have a bowel movement. I said, if she does not have one, she has to go to the vet because that's an emergency situation. So we've been taking her outside, putting her harness on her, walking either early, early in the morning because today that seems it's to 113. It's, but right. She'll usually go in the morning if you take yes. her out before she eats. Yes. So we've been doing that every day. So I'm worried about a lot of things. My grandson, Mason, had uh, all four of his wisdom teeth were impacted. He had oral surgery on Friday. No, He's I doing really that. well. He's doing really well. Takes out his goodness. grandpa that way. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, there's stuff going on behind besides what's happening here with us. Yeah, so if you notice, the videos have been kind of erratic. They have been erratic. Mm -hmm. They have been erratic. Whatever we could squeeze something in. Yes, that's it. Pretty much. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. But we are, um, oh, another thing I wanted to share you guys with. Let me grab this real quick. This oracha, the H is silent, I found out from so many of you. Thank you so much. This oracha collagen peptides, which is, you can get a pound of it for 28 99 I don't have a code or anything, but you go to Amazon and get it. Makes the most amazing, amazing, huh, amazing, thank you, Jim and Cynthia. You take Keto Chow banana oh, protein. Yeah. <sighs> you fill your, your, your Ninja Creamy container up hey, to, the, so to the line. You put a scoop, one scoop of keto chow in there, banana. You put one scoop of the horacha. You put the Loran butterscotch. I just use a capful in here. And I put uh, 10 drops of the, the English toffee stevia because we like our sweet. And you guys, yeah, man, this, it's nuts. if you've ever had 
banana fosters or banana flambe, flambe, which is the same thing. They make a caramel sauce, they put an alcohol in it, they light it on fire. It makes a creamy caramely sauce. Some put cinnamon in, some don't. They take the banana, slice them, cook them in that, get them all glazed up, put that on vanilla ice cream. <laughs> this is what it tastes like, it's heaven. But you don't have to light nothing on fire. No, you don't. And you don't have to put alcohol in it. Right. Because we don't. Uh -uh. But this That's container no -no. right here, yeah. yep. it's 16 ounces of water. I've measured it to here. One scoop of, of keto chow. Put a dash of cinnamon or nutmeg in with this if you want. But OMG, this is my mom. My mom would have been oh, in yeah, heaven. She loved, she loved the one. keto chow. She loved banana. She loved ice cream. And she it's, would eat every bit of it. Make me think about it. Yes. She would make she would eat every bit of it. Well when we whip this up in the ninja, it weighs each of us get about nine to ten ounces yeah. of creamy, delicious ice cream. Because I, I measure it. Yes, he does, because we sh we split one. We split one. Yeah. We don't have so, one each. It's, it, we, one's enough. One's enough. Oh, yes. And I do put in 14 grams of powdered butter into this. So we are splitting that in half. So about seven grams of butter. Because we're eating this as ice cream, not as a meal replacement. But, oh, my gosh, if you have banana keto chow and you love your banana keto chow, you got to try it with orachia because orchata, excuse me, orchata. It's H O R C H A T A. The H is silent. Or cha ta. Or cha ta. I can't. I can't rule my R's, Gloria. Or so don't cha ta. Right, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yolanda, Yvette, uh, Paula. <laughs> don't come at me, because I'm not rolling my arms. <laughs> yes. I'm not. But oh my gosh, yes. And put this in coffee in the morning. Heck oh, yeah. yeah. It's really good. So what I'm doing with my coffee is I'm getting my Mexican Oaxaca from okay. Momento. Does that come with flavors? I'm sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. It is a flavor. Horacha is the I know, flavor. But can it you get it in, in different un... Yes, flavors. you can. Okay. It comes in chocolate. I think it comes in peach and, and uh, unflavored. We're going to try to see if we can get a 10% discount or something, man. In my spare time. I like to save money. What I was saying is in our coffee, in our Mexican vodka, <laughs> I'm putting three shakes of Cylon cinnamon over my coffee grounds and oh, yeah, then letting man. it cook through. And then we're putting this in there with some English toffee stevia for sweetener. Oh yeah, it is really, heavenly. You will not need to go to the coffee shop. Oh no, you mm -hmm. aren't gonna need any of that. Um, <laughs> So pretty soon, uh, what you would call it, it's going to start being made. Pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin lattes. spice, which yeah. is my favorite, and a lot of yeah. people's favorite. Well, we can get a recipe. So there's I want Wendy to see if she can make us some. That's easy. That's keto. Come up That's with easy. something for us, you know? Maybe I'll do a coffee segment if she does. Okay, I'll yeah. do that. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, it's Beef Bowl Day. And what are we doing with our Beef Bowl today? Today. We're going to eat it. Today, <laughs> we had lunch. We, I had four ounces of ground beef, Harry had six, and we put a tablespoon of grass-fed butter and Redmond salt on it, and that's what we had. And let me tell you, this is the weirdest thing to say, but it is the truth. When you put a big dollop of butter and salt on ground beef, it tastes like popcorn. Oh, it does. It it's, tastes like you're eating beef popcorn. Oh my gosh, it's I am, great. It, it tastes like when we were kids, what popcorn really used to taste like before they brought all the fake oils and stuff and started using it on there. Yeah. It is heaven, heavenly. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Anyway, you guys, I have got- That's before it even put, like, if you wanted to put cheese on it, or Don't anything. do it. Try, no, try, try it this way. I'm yep. telling you. Just try a tablespoon of or more of butter and salt on it, and it is amazing. If you guys are popcorn fanatics like I used to be when we go to the movies, <gasps> this is like I said. It was the first time she made it. I went, <gasps> what is this? What did uh, you put in here? And I don't care for popcorn. Yeah, she never was a popcorn. But I used to eat person. the popcorn. I 
I kid you not, I'd suck the butter yeah, and the salt, salt off, off. And, ha and, 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 and remove the popcorn. Yeah, all around her chair at the movie? No, I did not. <laughs> Here you go, don't you fib. Oh, you are a fibber. Yeah, man. Uh-uh, you are fibbing. He's fibbing. It's like where you'd go to the Harry, go to those places to eat no. and they got peanut shells all over the floor. No, not. When, I, do, you, when do you even have popcorn all around right. her seat? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would freak out if people started throwing popcorn on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would. Don't be mean to me and make people think I do that because I don't. She anyway, does. she doesn't. She I does. do not. Let me get a pan because it's over here, not far. Um, we're going back to adding uh, a little. I don't know what we're going to do with Sally's stomach. We're Sally is on a we fast tried today and tried so many things right now. Still, we're still not out of stuff to do. But we're going to continue. I'm doing it very slowly. I need to find out if she has chronic. Well, um, she, the vet said once they get pancreatitis, right. the chances of them getting it is very good, which is sad. And yeah, it can be life-threatening. that should bring it on. So we just have to figure out what is going on. We are not... As many people who, who try to tell us what to do, I we appreciate all of that. But we have to do, go so slow and monitor everything with her. And I'm reading the book, and I'm doing what we need to do for Sally the best that we can. And the sad thing about dogs, are, I was talking to the vet, is that you don't know there's anything wrong with them until they're really until bad. Until it's really bad. Yeah. So, and I'm watching everything. I'm watching how she closes her eyes. I'm watching how she breathes. Yeah. I mean, I'm like right there. I won't let her go outside, and I'm right there with her. She probably goes, why are you following me? She did. Well, now she stands at the door like, is anybody coming? Yeah, are you guys coming or what? Where are you guys, where are you guys at? You we know? finally uh, started letting her go out by herself, but through the little dog door, but we still followed her. And she's like... You're following her. She's, she's trying not to get too close, and she stops, stops and going. And looks, looks you know, like there, and yeah, she goes a little like, further. What are you doing, mom and uh -huh. dad? You guys are crazy. Can't I go to the bathroom in peace? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and then when she's done, it's like, it's like we, we, we pull out magnifying glasses, <laughs> you know, and take a picture because I want a picture for the vet. I know you guys, it's crazy, but she, she's the love of our life for baby besides our kids and our grandkids. Right. But oh my gosh, it's crazy. Let me get the scale. Well, I've always been that way about my dogs. Get my yourself dogs. if you've ever had haracha. If you like like a snickerdoodle, if you like uh, a chai tea, if you like that cinnamony spiciness, if you like a pumpkin spice, you will love oracha, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Orchata, excuse me, orchata. Show the bag one more orchata. time. Orchata. Show the bag one more time. Oh. It's over here. Oh, okay. Pull it up so I can get a good shot of it, so in case people want to try it. Now you got this on Amazon, correct? Okay? What is nice, you guys? Our Amazon store is still not up. Cause, is this is uh, dairy free? So if you don't like whey or oh, any dairy product, now speak. It's it's dairy free. Okay. That's and it. it's sweetened. It's got non-GMO bovine collagen, organic vanilla flavor, non-GMO L-glutamine, organic cinnamon, and stevia. It is uh, kosher and halal compliant. Yes, it is. Anyway, let's get the, oh, there's Sal. Hey, How Sal. you doing, Sal? How you feeling? You had to have some gabapentin today, huh? In a bit, Mama. Did the gas X help your tummy? Yes. Good, you're feeling a little better now? Yeah. I'm up. I know you are, you're up. You smelled some hamburger cooking, I bet. She should be hungry. She hasn't ate anything. I know, but I'm worried about it. Yeah, I know, me too. Are you searching for something there, Sal? I don't know. I'm to see Mom give me something. Well, we'll see, honey. I want to wait a full hour after your gabapentin that you had and maybe give you just a little bit. Well, I'm wondering if the gabapentin round off the pain. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking it did. So now she wants to eat. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe just a little bit tonight. I have to listen. I was hearing uh, loud gas gurgling. Yeah, yeah. So I gave her a little bit of the gas X the vet said she could have. So. Anything on the floor? No. 
Not allowed to have anything on the floor. I know, I'm looking around, I don't see nothing. Nope, you're right, you're not gonna either. Anyway, you guys, come back when we've got beef bowls, because that's what we're eating. Yes, indeed. Looks good, Winnie. Thank you. We cook ours totally plain and then we season it afterwards because that's just the way we do it. We're so used to cooking some for yeah, Sally and she Sally, doesn't get this. Sally gets, um, she doesn't get hammer. She gets bison. She gets bison. 90 ton. Because of the fat. Yeah, she can't have the fat. Right. But I like fat. I know, and that's the problem. Doesn't like your tummy. Yeah, yeah. This is yours. You want six? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Don't be afraid. You can go over just a hair if you'd like to. I can. Yeah. Just a hair. Well, we're going to have ice cream tonight. Oh, well, then you're We're having stop. banana. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The way she said she makes it. Yep. Graham, and get your butter. Get your butter on. I love this food. I really we, do. We have not gotten tired of it. No, I, I don't think I ever have. And if you guys have been watching for all, I don't know how long we've been on, like four years? Four years, something like that? Three and a half years? Not, anyway. not beef bowl. I'm talking, we haven't gotten tired of beef bowls yet. That's what I was saying. And after three but, and a half years, that's what I mostly ate all the time. Well, you did at I lunchtime. I never got tired of this When stuff. I was working, right. yes. Yeah. That's when I lost the most weight. Well, that's why we went back to it. We, we sat down and powwowed and said, what did we eat? Yeah, we pulled out all the things. That we, board, we loved everything. to eat that was super easy, super simple, didn't have to think about it, and we could lose weight on it. And a couple other people said the same thing. You guys lost more weight. And I said, you know, she's right. And, and protein sparing and modified fast. Right. You have to kind of mix it for And I like fasting, too. I really enjoy fasting. Once I get used to it, I really like it. There's, I didn't think I'd be able to do it, but meh. I really liked it once I got into it. I forgot to wait here. I'm gonna put this over. Be careful because this is hot, Harry. Gotta get my my butter. Oh, 12. Yep. There we go. I'm gonna put it so you can see the butter. Beef and butter bowls is where it's at. Yes, indeed. You guys, we're gonna go eat. But before we do, we're gonna close out because all we have left is our ice cream and it's absolutely delicious. So super easy in the Ninja. We put it on light ice cream, spin it once, put it again in there, spin it twice. We nuke it beforehand at what, one minute? Yeah, one minute. Just to warm it up a little bit. Get rid of that mound on the top. Yep, and he takes a fork and chucks any little mound that happens. So you guys, please remember, if you've not done so already, like, subscribe, ring a little bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Say goodnight. Good night, everybody. I can't give you anything, Sally, honey. Not yet. You have to let the gabapentin and your gas sex. But you act more perky now. I'm very happy. That makes me feel better. Say goodnight. I think she's balling this out. Yeah, she is. <laughs> okay. You grab, uh, I have water in the other room. I'm right. gonna have ice water. You grab what you want. Okay. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Yay!